The UK's first functioning spaceport is here in Cornwall. We're creating a huge cluster of space technology. The global value of the space economy is somewhere in the region of $360 billion. To the UK, it's £16.5 billion every single year. Newquay Airport usually hosts small passenger and private aircraft. It's now home to Spaceport Cornwall. Rockets aren't going to launch from the ground here, though. Instead, private companies will take advantage of its runway, which is one of the longest in Britain and ideal for an innovative method of satellite deployment via a rocket called Launcher One, courtesy of a company called Virgin Orbit. And it's no ordinary rocket launch. This converted 747 carries a rocket underneath its wing, which has nine microsatellites inside. The aircraft will take off from here, fly out over the Atlantic, and ascend to an altitude of 35,000 feet, where the rocket will detach and blast off to the edge of space and deliver its payload. The BBC has been granted exclusive access on board Cosmic Girl. This aircraft used to be a Virgin Atlantic airliner, but it's been specially modified so it can launch rockets. In its former life, this cabin would have been filled with rows and rows of passenger seats, as well as galleys and bulkheads. They even used to have a bar on these aircraft. All of that has been stripped out to save weight. And weight saving is really, really important if you want to launch rockets. Squadron leader Matthew Stanny Stannard is on loan to Virgin Orbit from the Royal Air Force. He's already played a role in three successful rocket launches from Cosmic Girl over the Mojave Desert in the United States. Can you take us through uh, a mission, how it works? Uh, we're going to get airborne from the runway behind us and head out to the what's called a racetrack. That's the point we're going to drop the rocket. Um, that phase is called captive carry. We're really just looking after the rocket during there, making sure it's healthy, We're using the launch engineers in the back and mission control on the ground. We commence a pull-up. It's about a 2G, so if you're a passenger on this aeroplane, you, know, you feel yourself being pushed down just slightly in the seat, and we go to about 35 degrees nose up. And what we're doing there is trying to transfer energy from the aeroplane to the rocket. By us going to that, the moment the rocket comes off, it's already heading where it wants to. It's not wasting any fuel. When we get to about 35 degrees nose up, we wait for the right speed, and then the co-pilot will press the button to release the rocket. At that point, the airplane's are all the way to the right-hand side, uh, and we're going to watch the rocket head to space. Our system is portable. It's, a, it's an airplane with a rocket and a few skids with, with equipment on it. So we can move it anywhere. We can enable space launch anywhere. Um, any, any airport that can handle a 747. There is a growing space economy here in the UK. The UK has been one of the leaders in small satellites, which is actually where the satellite market has drifted to. Now, some people might argue that there's lots of problems going on down here on Earth, lots of massive economic problems going on on terra firma. Why should governments, why should nations, why should people be concerned with what's going on in space? If you look at, for instance, the discussion about climate change. How do we know about climate change? Because we've seen from space changes in our Earth's our atmosphere. We can detect the chemical compositions. We're looking at where the, the pollution sources are now. Methane is now being detected for the first time. While Cosmic Girl is changing the way that satellites launch into the heavens, this spaceport here in Newquay could change the economy in this particular part of the world. The local council here has invested £5.6 million. Overall, the spaceport has a £20 million price tag. It's a gamble for an area where mining and fishing were the traditional industries, now replaced by tourism. We're creating 150 direct jobs related to this amazing facility that we, we've built here at Spaceport Cornwall. And we plan to create another 240 jobs in the supply chain. And this is in a high tech, futuristic, innovative sector. So we're trying to bring a new industry to Cornwall to develop jobs in a new way, develop the skills base as well. The low earth orbit economy, as I describe it, is definitely one that's growing. There were 1,700 small satellites launched into low earth orbit last year. 
Orbit's maiden UK flight took place on January 9th, 2023. The plan was for Launcher 1 to deploy nine microsatellites into orbit. Things didn't work out like that, though. After a successful takeoff, the rocket launched from Cosmic Girl, and as it reached space, all looked good. But at an altitude of 180 kilometers, the rocket experienced an anomaly, and the mission abruptly ended, its satellites never achieving orbit. With the rocket's components falling back to Earth in what's described as an approved safety corridor. Cosmic Girl landed safely. Orbit's next launch will be back over the Mojave Desert. It's investigating what went wrong in the skies above the UK. The company says it hopes to attempt another UK launch later this year. The UK space race is now on. Two conventional vertical rocket launch facilities are being built in Scotland. The prize of getting a satellite into orbit from UK soil is still up for grabs.